decided to, just in case an episode is amazing and I didn't see it coming and I would like to record my action, I am just going to record every single time that I watch a show, do my own little commentary, whatever, and if it's not banging, I'm most likely not going to do a reaction video for it. And if it does bang or if y'all are watching it for some reason interacting, then yeah, I'm just going to continue to do that particular series. So we're going to see. But today I'm doing Standing on a Million Lives or is it a million or a hundred million? Yeah. Standing on a Million Lives. And we're just going to see. The show is interesting. I don't know if it has a lot of like action stuff for me to actively like be like, woo, way la like Jujutsu Kaisen fucked me up but um we're gonna see I definitely have a lot of commentary on this show and they are heavy on the character development anyways I'm talking too long I'm gonna start this is that girl from the last episode did she kill herself oh lord god damn Oh. Oh, and this is Homegirl's dad. Oh. Leave it to the music to bring in the fucking violins to bring, to run it home, that bitch. You should feel sad. Oh, so she had people to protect her. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo, I love her. Listen, I love Otaku Girl already. Like, she's really. It's not that she's not with the shits, it's just that she is me responding to certain stuff. Like,. The previous episode where she was uh, basically telling homegirl like exactly what she was doing and why those other girls were bullying her, I was like, oh, I mean, mm, I'm not as petty to do that. But when homegirl told her about like her outset on life and she broke down and she was like, I'm so petty. And I was like, you know what? I must be petty too because I'm not even that virtuous. Like I definitely would have done something. So her face right now is just like me. If I were in that situation, listen to those two pour their hearts or listen to her pour her out to him, I'd be like, well, first of all, this is none of my business. So why am I here? Like, why am I here? Like, that would be me. That would be me. You know, this opening song, it gives me like, late, it gives me like Mirai Nikki opening. Like, I wouldn't say like with the visuals, but with the song itself. Like, I feel like it is, is it in the same key? I feel like it's the same style. And the, the um, the vocalist, her, her stuff isn't extremely, they're similar. It's not the same, but yeah, anyways, whatever. Let's keep going. You know, I'm actually very interested to see if like her otaku tendencies end up saving them time and time again later on once she gets more comfortable with the world. Are they able to kill humans? Are they going to? Oh, shit. Damn, that's fucked up. That is a huge flaw, the fact that they can't fight humans. Yeah, because her wind can't really do anything in the first place. Oh. Uh. No, they could be raping that girl. Y'all better go save her. You know, she calls him a scumbag, but he's one of the only people that is, like, actively trying to engage with her outside of her being an otaku. Oh, god damn it. Well, hey, at least they're not getting raped. I feel like that power is really overpowered and we're about to see that shit. But wizard creature, or creature wizard. That's what I would think would be like creature wizard. Is he about to get mollywopped? 
I mean, I feel like this would be the most difficult part of the quest because he can't injure other humans. Oh, bitch, you died. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the other girl. No, that has to be the other girl. Because she has the hair. Wait, so did him turning into a wizard kind of like... Did it undo his actual physical training? Because he was like working out in the real world. So basically, is whatever he does in the real world like not matter once he gets there and he changes the class? Classes, the classes are all based off of luck. So, like, even if he did all the physical training in the world, would he have to do excessive physical training so that when his stats go down, they won't go down in such a way where he'll still be physically capable? That's something that I would like to know. He ain't gonna hit nobody. He gonna make y'all do everything. Her wind magic burst his eardrums? That is interesting. Did she lose experience? I wanna know that. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, so she killing. Ooh, yes. See, I love the, the rules of the world are getting explained as we go. It's not just like an information dump. Uh, a troll? Is it a troll? Yo, what the fuck is this? Berserker? Are we in fate? No, nah, wait, 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 wait. If you die, it's over. So she's like a hero grade level NPC. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. She's a fucking psycho. <laughs> if you die, you're not coming back. Shit. But also, he can die. Yeah, you can. Preacher magic. Preacher magic. You can. Ooh. Dead. I like it. I like it. Yo, is she a map? Oh. Is she gonna fucking torture them? Yeah, you are a warrior. Y'all are the worst magical girls I've seen in anime. Please. Please. They're worse than Pretty Cure when they first start. Like, come on. I guess this is going to be a really long arc. Huh. So, overall, I'm actually really pleased with that. I I don't know. There's something that brings me back to this show, and I think it's the mixture of the comedy, the world building, the character development already, and we're only, what, like, four episodes in? Like, it's actually moving at a very decent pace, too. The class system is very interesting. They're getting... A, well, he's getting more classes very quickly, but then also, are the girls going to get it? Or is it because he is so selfish and he wants to be able to solo stuff, solo leveling? I haven't read that, y'all. Don't say that. That he is getting all these classes, but also, they're kind of gimped. It seems as though everyone's class, are the as far as the girls, either their class is in direct opposition with their, like, personality with like you know the warrior and then like the eu and the magician and then uh, you have a homegirl otaku girl i'm gonna learn her name eventually you have otaku girl which wants to be a magical girl but magic is so weak which it almost kind of leads me to think that magic is so ridiculously weak in the beginning because it's probably exponentially insanely powerful like once they actually get adept or once they get to like higher ranks, like it's it's like unstoppable. But maybe it's like Megumin where it's like you get that shit and it's one cast and that's it for the quest. So 
I don't know. I haven't seen it. Was was there an MP3 mechanic when he was like looking at his screen? I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. But I'm wondering if there's like a a mad like you know like a um a resource pool because he's getting a lot of stuff and he doesn't have any abilities or well he got his first ability which that seems like it uses mp3 this episode not mp3 mp this episode so we're gonna see i would like to see more from the girls i would love to see what they're going to do um as far as their classes how the magic evolves i love the addition of the npc it actually adds a new level of like oh shit this could go really badly because if they die it's whatever if she gets hurt are mangled or whatever the fuck that happens then it's gonna be it's gonna be a moment it's gonna be bad because she can't revive and also will that affect the npc world like if she, let's say like she dies in an arc and then uh, they complete the quest still and they come back the npcs are most likely going to remember that she died escorting them and then that might make the subsequent quest hard so I like it. I like it. I'm I'm enjoying the theory crafting for this, even though, you know, I'm just rambling. But this is some interesting stuff. I would love to see more. I also saw an article saying that the sales of the manga, like, shot through the fucking roof after the anime premiere. So uh, I think that this show deserves the accolades that it's getting right now. Well, it's not getting any rewards, but hey, the, it's getting checks. So... I, I, I'm in. I'm most likely probably going to be covering this every week from now on because it's interesting enough to have my eye. And, like, you know, when I wake up, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, you know, what am I going to watch today? What am I going to do today? Blah, blah, blah. Am I caught up? Is there a new episode? This is one of the first things that comes to my mind in addition to, like, Fire Force and Jujutsu Kaisen. So, hey, that will be all for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you would like to hear some more commentary on this particular show, you can check out my anime podcast, which is Anime Savants. The links will be below. It's a podcast, and we have social media on Instagram and Twitter. We also have a YouTube for Anime Savants, too, where everything is separated into specific segments. So if you're just looking to hear my take or me and my partner's take on not my partner in that way, you know, like, you know, 50 fitney business partners. If you just want to hear our takes on a specific show, then uh, go to the YouTube channel because it'll definitely be separated by the shows, which episode we're going to be talking about, and it'll be that whole segment and that segment alone, like nothing else. And I don't really have much graphics going on on any of it. It's just like, boom, here's the commentary, you know, listen to it while you work out or clean up really quick. Clean your bathroom while you listen to it. It's good. I promise. But yeah, that will be the end for this video. Um... I'm actually enjoying these a lot more than I thought I was because this actually helps me like get my thoughts in order for when I actually go to the podcast. So, hey, I guess more reaction videos are coming. Other content will be coming soon, but these are easy to just like, you know, bang out and keep it moving. So, yeah, we're going to do some more. Thank you for watching. Bye.